don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> our final interview for the day, we would like to welcome <laughs> Scott the Waz, a content creator who makes videos about all things video games in a specialization in Nintendo products. Cool. He was always uh, finds a way to bring some great comedy in his videos, <laughs> making them a joy to watch for any video game fan. Let's bring him in. Scott, welcome to the show. Woo! Scott! Hi. Hi, Scott. Hi. Welcome to the Mixer Red Show, everybody. It's a pleasure to have you on. Uh, <laughs> Absolute <laughs> pleasure. Well, it's a pleasure Thanks to be for here. Thanks for having us. You know, yeah. I've, I've, I've yeah. never been on the Mixer yeah. Red Show. Uh, this is This is a joy. Yeah, no I hope my problem. mom is watching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nope. 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 She's not. She She's still be. not. <laughs> Uh, of course. How was dinner? <laughs> oh, oh, it was great. Oh, good. I just chowed down on a California pizza kitchen pizza. <laughs> it was crazy. I can't wait for their booth at E3. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> you hear that, California pizza kitchen? Call yeah. this guy. But, but, um, I, but I have a lot of pizza kitchens back there. Looking for sponsorship still. You yeah. know. But I have a bunch of kitchens back there getting that pizza ready, man. <laughs> good Lord. Now, I know this is your show, but could you give us kind of an intro about yourself so like we know what we're doing up here? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, of course. I can try my best. Okay. So I've been making, I mean, like, I've always been kind of like a creative guy, I guess, ever since I was a kid. I've been, like, drawing, and I've been making videos since, like, 2007, and only about, like, three years ago they've been watchable because I started this YouTube channel, basically. <laughs> um, you know, like, I've had, like, a lot of other YouTube channels before, and with this channel I've done a lot of, like, uh other videos in the past that I've deleted and privated <laughs> and all that stuff that are like school projects and all that stuff. Uh, just until recently, I've kind of felt like, you know what, I, I feel comfortable with like my writing skills. And uh, within my friend groups, I was never like super, uh, I, I never had like a lot of Nintendo fans as friends. So I just had all this build up over the years. Yeah. Just It's just like, man, I just need to, I just need to talk about Nintendo. And I've always wanted to make YouTube videos about Nintendo and video games as general in a, uh, in general. Yeah. So uh, yeah, around uh, 2017, I, I started doing some videos uh, before then, just to kind of build stuff up. And then early 2017, I started uh, the show called Scott the Was, which is just about me talking about video games, you know, different topics every week, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Awesome. Well, what are some of your favorite moments in Nintendo's E3 history, Scott? Uh, well, um, I'd say two of my favorite E3s, I mean, like, these are like my, my favorite E3s in general, not just like moments, because like, there are so many of my favorite moments in these. I really loved E3 2010 and 2014. I felt like those two E3s were just my favorites. Every other E3, I found something to nag about. With those, I was just like, man, like, these were great. 2000, 2010 was like, the year they first showed off gameplay of Skyward Sword. They did Donkey Kong Country Returns. They revealed that. Uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn. They showed off Golden I-007 for the Wii. They had, like, a bunch of other stuff that just, like, third-party stuff, first-party stuff. And then they revealed the 3DS uh, for the first time. Mm -hmm. They, like, announced it in a press release, but they showed it off. And they showed off Kid Icarus Uprising with it. And that was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then 2014 was just they just kept on hitting game after game after game. That was uh, that was like in the middle of the Wii U life cycle. They had Smash Brothers coming out soon, so they had a few reveals aligned with that. Uh, stuff like Yoshi's Woolly World was showing off, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. They first showed off Breath of the Wild during that, just when they just called it Zelda Wii U. Mm. Uh, they showed off Splatoon, Mario Maker. Uh, that was an amazing show. So those are two of like my favorites uh, in terms of E3s with Nintendo. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, you, you talked about some of your couple of your favorite annou announcements. You know, uh, is there any announcement that start, that stands as a turning point for the company? You think? Uh, well, I think obviously one would be when they announced that they would not be doing press conferences anymore mm. uh, yeah. in 2013. When uh, uh, yeah, it was 2013 when that was like the first year after the Wii U officially launched and people were like, man, they're really going to have to prove the worth of this system. And then they announced, yeah, we're not doing a press conference. And everybody was just like, oh, well, that's just, that's rough. Everybody was like super upset about that when that happened. Oh yeah. But I think, Myself I included. think, yeah, of course. Uh, 2013 wasn't like the best way to prove like the worth of like just doing a pre-recorded live broadcast during E3, uh, you know, like, that was kind of in the Nintendo Direct's uh, growing pain stage. 
Um, but then as time went on, it started to become clear that this pre-recorded live broadcast thing is actually a really good idea. You don't have a lot of the little hiccups with uh, live shows, like live press conferences that you would if you just did a Nintendo Direct. So I think that was probably the biggest turning point. Sure. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So um, what are you looking forward to seeing this year specifically? Well, uh, I think, uh, man, um, Rough, the Nintendo Direct <laughs> this year has been kind of, uh, it's just, they're just saying like, hey, we're just showing off 2019 games, um, which is exciting to me because that means like we're going to get like a bunch of different games at once. Uh, because previously, in previous years, they've been doing like kind of focusing on one single game. Yeah. Um, which, you know, I mean, like that gives us a good look at a game they're super confident about, but I always like when E3 is kind of a barrage of new information and new games and, uh, new information about old games we know, stuff like that. Um, I think they're obviously going to show off a lot of Animal Crossing. Uh, that's going to be super exciting. Um, you know, Luigi's Mansion 3, it'll be cool to see more of that just because, you know, I kind of, it looked a little early on in development when we first saw it, so I think that would be pretty cool to, uh see an updated look at that uh link's awakening looks amazing that looks super cool um and there's a bunch of other little random things uh like astral chain and pokemon sword and shield uh there was like that game they revealed in um i think it was a september direct called town yeah um i mean that's interesting i think that might get pushed to 2020 though uh just because we haven't seen anything of it I don't, yeah. think, I don't think it even has a name. I think it's just no. called The Town. For and, right now. Yeah. yeah. So, it it even town. said, like, tentative or something yeah. like that. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, just in terms of, like, stuff I think we know for a fact will be there. Um, I think Animal Crossing will be really interesting to see what they do with that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm kind of hoping for just, like, expanding upon New Leaf, making it look pretty, yeah. uh, adding new features, kind of expanding on stuff. Um, yeah. So. All right. Them. We do have another question in chat, uh, and I, I'm guessing this is because you talked about all the channels that you have and stuff. What are your favorite types of videos to make? Like reviews, retrospectives? Um, my favorite types of videos, it depends. Um, I really like, so I really like when I get to be super creative and original. I've done a lot of really dumb, just full on creative videos about, uh, random Sega Genesis sports games called Dick Vitale's awesome baby college hoops and <laughs> it attacking the city and stuff like that. Prime time players. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a 26 minute epic. And that was, that was <laughs> the worst to go through because like it was just i had so many things i had animators and i had musicians work on that and all that stuff uh so that, so that was like super uh that was just super satisfying to make that's probably one of my favorites but also you know reviews are pretty pretty simple for me to make those are nice little like chill out times where i can just be like all right i'm gonna just talk about this game because a lot of my videos have uh are kind of a barrage of games and they're just constantly going game, 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 game. And those are kind of like, all right, let's kick back and let's talk about this for a second. So those are a little simpler. Um, I think, uh, I think the videos that come out best are sometimes the jokier ones. Yeah. Uh, I made a video about video game related foods. Um, and, uh, also just the ones that are just about like one encompassing topic, stuff like game controllers and stuff like that. So, um, I'd say, I'd say the jokier videos are probably the most fun to make. Yeah. Um, and then the, uh, the big, the big productions are probably the most satisfying to make. Well, I totally understand that. Scott, what is your bold prediction for E3? Something that we most likely probably won't see, but you really want it anyway. We'd love to hear it. All right. <laughs> here we go. All right, gang. Cool. Ready for this? Okay. I got, I got, I got my predictions. Taking notes. Okay. All right. See, retro. Retro Studios probably have a new game in the works. Not Metroid Prime 4, because they just started work on that. They've been doing stuff for like four years. They, 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 haven't, they haven't been doing anything for four years. They, they had to be doing something in that time. So Retro Studios probably has a new game uh, that might get revealed during E3. Who knows? Mm. I feel like it could be a new IP, mm. something completely new. Mm. There have been rumors about that. If you see like uh, Reggie's retirement gifts, he showed off this picture he got from Retro Studios, mm. and it had a mystery character a that was covered up. Right? Ah. Yeah, so I'm going to guess that's a new IP, but cool. whatever. Um, Pikmin, Pikmin 4, I think this could be the year we finally see Pikmin 4, oh. but, you know, we've gone... 
centuries without a Pikmin 4 in our lives, so I think we can go a few more centuries without one, but I'd love to see Pikmin 4. I adore Pikmin. Um, uh, Mario Baseball, that's one sports game that I yeah. think, you know. I'd be down. Uh, Camelot yeah. does... <laughs> Camelot does tennis and golf, and they just did tennis. Uh, Next Level Games does Strikers, and they're doing Luigi's Mansion 3. So I'm going to throw it out on baseball. I think Namco Bandai makes that, so I think they can do that. Ooh, but uh, I, I think that. uh, that's, like a, that's legit. All right. I like that logic. Yeah. 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 Um, I say Super Mario Party 2. There's potential with that. I think if they do like yearly Mario parties again, that'd be pretty fun. Um, Think a Smash Brothers character is likely. A lot of people are saying they want a Microsoft character, Master Chief, Steve from Minecraft, Banjo Kazooie. I think Master Chief would be pretty. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> that'd be, that'd yeah, be great. That would, I, yeah. I would, I would, I would the lose Xbox it. If guy. Guy. He's, he's awesome. the Xbox guy, and being in a Switch <laughs> game. I mean, obviously, he just has to wreck, though. Uh, yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Yes. Oh. So. Yes. But uh, I think I think the uh, most off the wall thing. I just looked at my shelf of games, and I'm saying Sin and Punishment Three, uh, which was. Okay. That was like a Japanese exclusive Nintendo 64 game. They made a sequel to it on the Wii. <laughs> sure. Sure. I have nothing backing that up. It's just just throwing darts. I don't there. know. Yeah. It could happen. <laughs> Weirder things all of them come true. Re remember, folks, if he said it, if it happens, he said it here first. All right. That's right. That's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> all right well scott thank you so much for coming on the red show or sorry actually having us on the red show oh, right. yeah. Yeah. Uh, can you tell people <laughs> where they can find you on youtube and on the socials mm -hmm. uh well all my social medias are just scott the waz so you can check that out and my youtube channel i just post new videos every sunday night so that's basically it uh, i do twitter instagram and facebook awesome Yay, thank you scott thank you so much yeah. <laughs> you. enjoyed having you on yeah. Good luck with that CPK sponsorship. <laughs> oh, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you see that.